I don't think I've given up. I don't think I gave up anything. I just feel like God has redirected me elsewhere. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be answering some of your burning questions from IG stories while I do the usual makeup that always gets me the question, Paano ang pag-inawa yung makeup na yan? And I've been doing this makeup pretty much since I started doing my own makeup for work. So let's go and do it. I already cleaned my face. Magulo yung hair ko. Gagawin din natin yung hair ko mamaya. But usually, I would put on lip balm but I can't find it. So let's just put on a little bit of moisturizer to my face. We usually fight about the way that we communicate because we communicate very differently. Si Wancho yung tipo ng tao na gusto niya pag may problema, pag uusapan ka agad. Ako gusto ko may space muna. And I need like space to think and not be mad and just be on my own and figure things out but he's the type that just wants to talk it out kaagad so pinag-aawayan namin yun because we don't meet halfway when we don't meet halfway that's what happens but how we resolve it is we actually figure out before we even fight yung rules of engagement namin meaning once we can feel na tension is rising and we're starting to disagree with one another and we feel like our emotions are getting heightened we figure out, okay, what do we do? So, ginagawa namin yung figuring out na yun before we even fight, when we're actually happy and we're not fighting. So, what we've figured out is, we meet halfway by saying, okay, nararamdaman ko na that you're getting all pumped up about this. You're getting emotional about this. Let's pause a little bit and let's talk about this in like 30 minutes or an hour. So, that gives me a bit of space, but that gives Wancho the assurance that we're gonna talk about it in 30 minutes or an hour. I don't usually use foundation. I just use this tinted sunscreen that I've posted about. And this is not a sponsored post, but I really like this. And I haven't used foundation in a really long time because I kind of like my skin. And I'm not a big believer of using foundation if your skin is doing okay. Naman. I use it when I have like pimple and stuff like that. But if not, which is almost always the case, Thank you, mom, for my good skin. I just used it at sunscreen. I'm not sure if I've completely sacrificed it at this point. I still dream about it and I'm kind of like convincing Wancho that it's also his dream. At this point, you know, when you become a mom, what you realize is your life, your body, and everything else, your time, is not yours anymore. Because at least that's how I feel. I have to prioritize my family, especially Eliam. And I was asking myself also, where's the best place for him to thrive? And the best place for him to thrive is near family, you know? And he's gonna be raised in a community and he's gonna be raised in our family setting. And that would be hard if we were abroad. Obviously not impossible, but just a little bit more challenging. And for me, mas nagu work para sa family namin at this moment yung just being around and near family and also one of the questions that i had to ask myself which i feel like god revealed to me was one why do you want to leave the country before i wanted to leave the country because i wanted to live a different kind of life i wanted to be a writer i wanted to you know work in a gallery i wanted to pursue my dreams of being an artist but i can't do that anymore right now because I've built a career here and I'm happy with the career that I've built here. And number two, the question that I asked myself is, where can God use me the most? And the answer to that question at the moment is right here. So we go where God calls us, diba? Funny story, I don't know if I've told you guys this already. In 2017, after I had left radio, yung paalam ko talaga sa boss ko sa Magic is, alis na ako ng bansa kasi yun talaga yung plan ko. Like, I was already considering either moving to Oxford, moving back to Oxford to continue studying and probably work there, or move to New York to pursue writing and arts. But I was praying and fasting about it. As in, seryoso talaga ako about it. Praying and fasting about it. And God answered by giving me a contract with GMA. 
So, the contract with GMA came out of nowhere. Hindi ako actively nagahanap ng network that time. I've never had a network. I've worked in TV many, many times. I've worked with ABS, I've worked in Star World, I've worked with TV5, but no one seemed to offer me a contract. And I was fine with that, kasi parang. They also didn't know where to place me. Hindi naman ako super mainstream. I mean, I had a following online, pero yun lang yun, di ba? Hindi naman ako super sikat or anything like that. So I was like, okay. I guess that's just not where I am, you know? I like my digital work and I really enjoyed that. But that's it. So 2017, I was praying about it, as in fasting about it and planning to leave the country. Then out of nowhere, GMA offered me a contract to be in their network there. So I started working in GMA as a host. I started doing like, I'm putting concealer on. I'm st I started doing work there and I enjoyed it. And then I met Moncho. And then life changed. Tapos, eto pa. When we got married, ang initial plan namin ni Moncho is to really travel the world. As in, we got married, di ba? So 2020 yon. Sabi namin, okay, perfect. Why don't we live in New York for like three months? Because you know we have our visa, naman. We can stay there up till up to like six months, ganyan. Why don't we do it? Okay, game. Let's do it. You know, we're supposed to have your family nyo doon. My best friend lives there. Tapos nag lockdown. <laughs> so, so you know, long story short is we always make plans, but then God redirects us elsewhere. And then I got pregnant with Elia. And then life changed. At the end of 2020, we were considering migrating to Australia. We wanted to figure out, okay, do we want to, do I want to pursue my studies again? Yun lagi yung inisip ko. Eh. Pursue my studies, become a scholar, ganyan, ganyan academics, whatever. That's one show will work kasi tapos na siya sa schooling niya. Tapos hindi natuloy. For some reason, hindi din na kami natuloy. And I got pregnant. So, it seems as if <laughs> dito talaga kami kini call ni God. So that's why we're here. So I don't think I've given up. I don't think I gave up anything. I just feel like God has redirected me elsewhere. Just do it. A wise brand once said. Just go on and do it. Like when I started the podcast, I had no expectations for it as in all I wanted to do was express myself in audio format without having to constantly filter myself because I was on TV or on radio representing a bigger brand than myself. So I just went on and did it. I researched how to do a podcast. I researched how to edit a podcast. I researched how to put up a podcast. I didn't even have my own equipment. I had to borrow Martin's audio interface. And I had this wonky setup and I just put it out there talking about things that I actually love. And it worked! So for me, I've always said it and I'll say it once again, don't wait till you're ready because the time for you to get ready may never come. And honestly, I feel like as human beings, we miss out on so many good opportunities in life because they're always saying, hindi kasi ako ready eh. hindi ako equipped for that. When no one's really gonna judge you, like, it's your life. If you're not harming anyone, if you're not hurting anybody, if it's not morally evil, and if it's still aligned to your core values and what you actually believe in, have a little faith. Not just in yourself, but in what God can do in your life. And I think that's the most beautiful thing that I've realized. Most of the things that I do right now, content creation, hosting, speaking, podcasting, things that I'm currently, I'd like to say, good at, uh, are things that I started out not knowing anything about. But I had faith, not in myself, but in what God can do through my life. And it turned out well. There are some stuff that I've missed out on and missed at, meaning it didn't work out for me. But I can't even think of one right now because all I can think about is how God has allowed the other things to work out for my benefit and for my good. And for that, I'm grateful. So just go on and do it. Be curious, don't be afraid to seem stupid and incapable because you probably are and that's not a bad thing unless you stay there because you have the capacity for growth and for be becoming better. So focus on that instead of focusing on who you are right now. Ah, I have 13 of them so <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say except I'm torn about it. I haven't gotten a new tattoo since I had a an intimate reawakening in my faith but it's not because I think it's evil or anything like that 
I think you're pointing to a scripture in probably Leviticus or something. So I don't know. I honestly don't know. Look, okay, what is sin? Sin is something that takes you away from God, right? The definition of the word sin literally means you miss the mark. You're missing the mark. That's what sin means. You can probably ask yourself that. Like, if I get this tattoo, what am I doing it for? Am I doing it so that the world will accept me more? Am I doing it so that I'll be cooler? Or whatever. Is it becoming your God? Is it becoming the thing that's most important about you? If yes, then maybe it's not a good thing for you or your faith. But if it's something else, if it's literally just like creative expression, or for me, it was reminding myself of the verses and the things that I I truly give importance to, like the Sakura tattoo of my cousin who passed away in a tsunami in Japan, then maybe it's not such a bad thing. But don't take my word for it. Pray about it. Read the Bible about it. Ask your mentors about it. But for me personally, it's, it's not a make or break factor. I'm gonna do my eyes first and I'll be right back. Wancho is a very talented actor and so I'm very proud of him for playing Padre Salvi and I think it's his first major role as a villain. It's actually pretty new because usually I would see him with like meron siyang mga love interest or leading man siya ganyan. So first time na makikita ko siyang nakakatakot siya. So I'm very proud of him. Um, it just sucks because he's out of the house like he has been in lock and taping for almost two weeks now and it really sucks not having him home. But apart from that, I'm very happy for him. I'm very proud of him. And he's very good at what he does. So I'm happy that he gets to do it with such an incredible story, incredible cast and crew. And yeah, I'm very proud of him. Okay, so these are the lashes that I always use for work. I don't like the okay na yan attitude. Or yung pwede na yan. That's kind of like pet peeve for me, but it's, it's not really a deal breaker. It's something that I feel like needs to be improved on. Oh, diba? Someone has decided to join the party. And he's mad. Can you explain to everyone why Eliam is mad? Can mama just finish her video? Okay, I'll finish my makeup. Don't be afraid to seek professional help. One, don't diagnose yourself. Because postpartum is really hard. So there's a chance that you're just really having a hard time. But yun nga, if it exceeds two weeks already of feeling down, hopeless, or something like that, then maybe it's time to seek professional help. If you get diagnosed, then don't be afraid to actually talk about it and ask for support. It's so important for postpartum to actually be a journey that is shared with your husband and also with the people that you trust and the people that you love. Because it's hard raising a child. It's hard dealing with postpartum. And it's hard transitioning into a mom. And I actually recently came upon this term called matriescence or matriescence, if I'm not mistaken. But yun daw yung term na parang puberty din siya, but for moms, for women who become moms. It changes you, not just physically, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. And it's really draining. Parang puberty yung pinagdadaanan mo. So you change as a person. And that's not an easy thing to go through. And it gets better if you do that with a community that you trust and who believe in you and will actually support you and help you. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for professional help. Take breaks in between because you won't be a good mama to your child if you don't even have like the energy to fill your own cup. So kailangan mo ng time na yon to be on your own, to do things that you like. May sinabi sa kanya therapist ko, sabi niya, do one thing for yourself that you like every day. Even if that means just going out for a walk, reading a book, a part of a book, listening to music on your own, taking that 30-minute coffee break by yourself and ask someone else to watch the baby, that's helpful in itself. So 
that would be my advice. Okay, so this is the final look. Wow, kano ba naman <laughs> ang laking difference? Pero yan, usually ganyan na yung ginagawa kong look. Um, di talaga ako mo foundation or ma eyeshadow because I find that mas nagu work for my skin and my face yung hindi masyado makapal na makeup. But whatever suits you, more power to you. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I usually do my hair. Lagi nito na tanong sa akin kung paano ginagawa yung parang messy messy look. And again. Madali lang siya. Nakahanap na ako ng way kasi to do it. That's quick and easy. So, you just part your hair whatever way you like. And then we're gonna section it. And instead of using a curler, I use a flat iron to do it. Warning, you have to be careful not to ano lang, hurt yourself with the heat. So, I'll just take this. And then I curl it. And then parang ganyan. So, the bottom part... I don't curl too much. Just so my parang balik lang siya. Chilling. Okay, so something like that. See? I'll just do that. Curl it a little bit. Tapos yung ginagawa ko yung sa dulo. I don't really curl it, right? I just pull it. Para hindi sobrang curled yung dulo. Ay, yung dulo, I mean. So there, that's how I do my hair. I don't even spray it with anything because I don't know. Sometimes I use like a soft hairspray for it. Pero yeah. <laughs> Ay, <isma. laughs> Again, I'm not the type to just have super stiff, super ayos na hair. That's it for my vlog, guys. It was supposed to be a six to eight minute vlog and uh, now we're at 25 minutes. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one and sana na enjoy nyo rin yung Q&A that we did. And hopefully, me getting ready helped you guys. I don't know if you want the super step-by-step -step one. If you do, let me know in the comments. If this is fine with you, give it a thumbs up and share it with the people that you love. And talk to you guys again soon. Bye!